up YouTube fam welcome back and as promised I would share a new recipe with you today and that is what this video entails this is a buffalo chicken spaghetti squash meal and it is really good now I will say if you don't love buffalo then this recipe is not for you but if you do love buffalo then you are gonna absolutely love this meal it is very very low carb I'll put the macros down below I'll put all the ingredients and the directions down below for you all so that you all can give this one a go if you do I would love to hear about it you could meal prep this for you for the week you could have it just for a dinner I cooked it up for me and my husband for dinner one night super easy it's quick you don't need a lot of things and it's delicious it was something new I wanted to try so that's what I did and I wanted to share it with you all I'm gonna keep trying new foods I am loving 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 trying new recipes getting in my kitchen it's very therapeutic I didn't realize how much I really do love to cook so I'm gonna keep sharing these awesome recipes with you all this one is one that I would not make every week just because I don't I don't love buffalo sauce on everything and couldn't imagine having it every week right now but nonetheless it's a great dinner to switch things up I hope that you all enjoy this video and let's get into the recipe Sunrise in the summertime, let me summarize my life in a 16 night. Cause making beats before air nights was cool. Growing up now, the nights weren't so cool. But we had some cool days, no cool J's. Can a brother still ball out like the NBA? I guess time will tell. Yeah, we've been through hell. But baby girl, me and you, we about to bounce. So let's fly through the city like Diddy. Baby, won't you come my way, Fetty? Yeah, you man. Okay, so hopefully you all can see me and hear me okay. If not, this is gonna be awkward. But I just took the spaghetti squash out of the microwave i heat it up just because it is easier to cut up that way and then i'm just going to slice the very ends off both sides oh it's hot oven's preheated perfect so just slice the very ends off both sides excuse my scrub life then you're going to set it up on one side and you're just going to slice right down the center. Be very, very careful not to slice your finger off. Good. So after that, you've got two open sides. That looks like, like that. And we're just going to take a spoon and scoop out the seeds out of the middle of it. You come my way, Fetty. Yeah, your man ain't what you want a pity. Now she want me to beat up that kitty. Whoa, I'ma do it like the beat, beat it up. Put your feet up. Yeah, the real rappers are here, so turn the heat up. About to dive in, voice simulator, trigger, no trigger, though. Got real and that's my head and out. So now she riding in the moonlight, set the moon right. Get the girls for that late night. Don't wanna blink, she never been before. She wanna see the things she never seen before. Girl, it's time to do this for you. Do just everything you can do. So baby girl, with the windows down, let your head... And then we're gonna put like an inch of water. Or not even in the bottom of the pan. This is gonna just help it to get nice and soft so that it scrapes away like spaghetti. And we're gonna put that straight into the oven. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I haven't made spaghetti squash in a hot minute. And we're going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to put 35. Cool. So while that's cooking, then I'm going to go ahead and cook up the chicken in a pan. And I'll show you all how I do that. Okay, so we want this chicken to be able to be kind of like shredded chicken. And because I don't have time to cook it in the crock pot because that is how I normally would make shredded chicken. I'm going to cook it in a pan with water so it shreds apart really easily and mixes really well with the spaghetti squash. So I'm going to put the stove top, stove top on medium and then I'm going to do like half of a tablespoon of coconut oil. I've been cooking a lot with coconut oil because A, I love the taste and it also is just a really good and healthy fat and I feel like it's helping my skin to glow a little bit more. 
And then the good thing about coconut oil, you can just rub it in like lotion. It's good for your skin. Put some in your hair. Just kidding. Okay. And then you're going to just put your chicken into the pan too. Make sure that's all spread around nice and evenly. Then you're gonna put your chicken straight into the pan. Now that's a breasticle if I've ever seen one. <laughs> straight into the pan. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of water into the pan as well. It's gonna keep it really moist and we're gonna cover it. We're gonna cook this like 15 to 20 minutes. I'll be checking on it and flipping it and moving it around and then it should be perfect for our recipe. Okay, so next I just chopped up all the green onion. I ended up only using one of the stalks of celery. This is roasted or this is just red bell pepper, the chicken and the buffalo sauce. Okay, so the spaghetti squash is done, the chicken is cooked. I just showed you everything I cut up and ready to mix together. What I'm going to do is fork out the spaghetti squash into a big bowl, but keep the spaghetti squash shells. Don't throw them away. And then I'm going to mix all those other things in with the spaghetti squash like I just showed you, and I'll show you what that looks like when I get done with it. Okay, so this is what it looks like all mixed up, and then I topped it with some of my favorite seasonings that I thought would go with it. I did pink Himalayan sea salt, garlic, some basil, and some onion, and topped it with that, and now I'm going to stuff the shells back full half and half of this delicious, delicious recipe. Alright, so this is what we're working with. I stuffed the two shells back in. This one, I am avoiding dairy right now as much as possible, so I just left it as it is. And then this one's gonna be Derek's tonight. I topped it with some fat-free mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna plop it back in the oven on 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. Give it your all, it's your turn now. So put your best heels on, yeah, go and get the sundress out. It's his loss, go hit the city, line up them shots, make those lips pow. So baby girl, rollin' with the windows down, let your head out Make up hair and nails all done, you give it your all, it's your turn now So put your best heels on, yeah, go and get the sundress out It's his loss, go hit the city, line up them shots, oh. make those as always, thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you try this recipe. I will see you all next Wednesday. I upload every Wednesday and every Saturday. I'll see you all next Wednesday. If you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. If you do like the recipe videos, go ahead and subscribe if you are not already. I would love to have your subscription. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, I send out a high five Friday every Friday and it's just a bunch of free content that I give to this exclusive group. If you want to be a part of the High Five Friday group, then the in the description box below you can subscribe to that and you will get this next Friday's High Five Friday. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. You all are awesome. Don't stop being awesome. Bye.